Hello. Stepping it's into Stanley. his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. There's plenty Shocked, of indications. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? It was the narrator. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. Two, eight, four, five. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing <laughs> random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Oh, hello. This is a creepy thing to have in your boss's office. It's not even fully insulated either. It must get chilly in there in the winter. Hmm, there's an elevator that goes down. Well, oh, let's go back down the elevator. Although this is a different elevator. Oh, it turned off the light. How nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Loading. Loading. Loading, loading. I am so confused as to this game. <laughs> I have no I have no idea how long it takes to get to an ending of any sort. <laughs> oh boy. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. I do it feel was a bit a laggy. stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. What is life? Did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? Probably this drugs. This question would not go unanswered for long. Oh good. I hope I'm a clone. That would be pretty cool. Be cool if I was a clone. Oh man, there's low frame rate down in this basement here. Stanley Jeez. walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. I wonder if they're controlling people's minds. Oh, this says I can escape. Nah, that's boring. Who wants to escape when you can have your mind controlled? Is this the... Is this the monitor room? The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Yep, this what is the monitor room. What horrible secret did this place hold, Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I him? hope so. Oh, there's another walkway. How nice. Uh-huh. Uh-huh, there's a bunch of scribbles there. Oh, there's a button. Man, it's nice that they have such a big obvious button. Now the monitors jumped to life, their true nature revealed. Each oh. bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Oh, that's terrible. Which one's mine? Oh, it's not going to tell me, is it? Oh, yes it will. There I am. Hey, look at that. 427, right there. That's me. What a coincidence that it's right here within viewing distance. A very convenient viewing distance. Imagine that. I'm imagining it. Where does this walkway go? It's really dark down there. Ooh, a man button. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe. It couldn't be true. It's not Had that Stanley horrible. Had really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? We that should all be so lucky for that. his emotions been manipulated to accept it blindly? <laughs> Let's take the elevator. Let's get out no. of here. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. <laughs> it was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Yes, Had he because truly it's a video spent game. his entire life utterly blind to the world? Don't we all? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working. All of it monitored and commanded from this very place. 
And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. Yeah. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. I don't have anything to do that, though. Let's push the one button. Um, two. Is that it? There's only two buttons? So let's, uh, let's push this pink button. Boop. I don't think it's doing anything. Hmm. Is this a button? This might be a button. Ooh, it's a three. Three. Oh, there's another button. Oh, that's five, though. Where's four? I want to find four. Let's see. One, two, three... What's down here? This is eerie. <laughs> mm, I want to find the four button. Where I found the five. Where's four? Oh, let's press the five button. Boop. Oh. The way to input, you say? And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Um, which button does that? There's, there's not a button that says to do that. Um, so, boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. I'll try the off button. And it's dark. Oh god, it's so dark. So very dark. What have I done? It's so dark. So quiet. There's nothing. Oh, wait. There's a thing. I see. Blackness. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Oh. Was it over? I don't know. You tell yes. me. Was it over? He had won. Yes. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere moments away. Finally. And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. Where had his co-workers gone? <laughs> How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? There's blue what sky. What other mysteries did this strange building hold? But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Oh my god! Perhaps his goal so had not been to understand, but to let go. No longer would anyone tell him where to go, what to do. Or how to feel. Whatever life he lives, it will be oh. his. And that was all he needed to know. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. This looks like a holodeck. Uh. Stanley felt the cool breeze upon his skin, oh. the feeling of liberation. The immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And it's so delicious! And Stanley was happy. Yay! Happy ending! Yes, I beat the game! Victory is mine! Okay, that's, uh... That's interesting. <laughs> that is that is very interesting. I don't know what to make of this game, really, but <laughs> that's only one of the endings right there. Now we have to work on the other endings. All of his co-workers were gone. What mm -hmm. could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Well, that sounds like me. Ha <laughs> ha! Missing memos. Oh, Stanley.
when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Okay. I'm gonna follow the script to start. Then we'll see how it goes. Yet there was not a single person here either. This Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. <laughs> this is great. Do not alter without consulting whiteboard manager. I like how there's a whiteboard manager. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see here. There's the broom closet. Ow! Door hit me in the face. Oh no! Oh no! 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 no. Not I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. <laughs> oh my goodness! Is he gonna say something? Come on, I want him to say something else. I don't think he's gonna say anything. Let's move on. <laughs> Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay. Let's go through here again. Let's go to the boss's office. But this time, we're gonna escape. Hello? Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. That's a weird what portrait up there. What could it mean? Stanley wondered aloud to nobody. To nobody. <laughs> he began wildly tearing through papers on the boss's desk, pulling books off the shelf, looking behind paintings, desperate for clues to his situation. But his attention was caught by a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could its purpose be? In fact, this keypad guarded the terrible <laughs> secret that lay buried below his feet. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Boop. 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 Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random <laughs> buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Oh, Amazing. man. Amazing. He oh, there's like a... into the newly opened passageway. <laughs> oh man, this this is something. This game is something else. We've already been through this in this episode though. Let's do something new. We're gonna escape the facility this time. We're gonna run away. Or we're gonna we're gonna try to at least. I don't I don't know what that entails really. <laughs> Oh man. I am I hope you guys are as confused as I am because I'm very confused. No narration? That's really bad frame in space. Straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. No, no he didn't. He walked through the escape door. Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. Really? Is that true? Well, we're going to find out one way or another. The door behind him was not shut. <laughs> Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. At this point, Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly confront his death. Oh, hello. Up, oh, and I'm falling. <laughs> I just jumped into an open pit. Seemed like the right thing to do. But what is going to happen? This is a very hard game to commentate on. I have no idea what's happening. I'm very confused. <laughs> uh. What? As the machine whirred into motion and Stanley was inched closer and closer to his demise, he reflected that his life had been of no consequence whatsoever. Bomber. Stanley can't see the bigger picture. He doesn't know the real story, trapped forever in his narrow vision of what this world is. Perhaps his death was of no great loss, 
like plucking the eyeballs from a blind man. <laughs> so he resigned and willingly accepted this violent end to his brief and shallow life. Farewell, Stanley. Uh, uh, I can't escape. Oh no! Oh, it stopped. Farewell, Hi. Stanley, cried the narrator, as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. What? In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing him instantly. Oh. Uh, I'm not dead. Still alive. Still very much alive. Um, hi? Hi? <laughs> 